What is up guys, your boy Ron here today and for today I have another fantastic funny deck for you guys and I put together Solgaleo Lunala, that's my first attempt on uh, that deck so I tr tested it <coughs> on stream a little bit so I decided to record it and then you know hopefully you will enjoy the deck and you will play with it as well. So Solgaleo and Lunala, another brand new tag team from Cosmic Eclipse and I'm so lucky to have like four copies of it not really restaurant, so I had to go with that and not the one I kind of wanted to, but hey, it's all good, we're gonna do trades. So before we, I'm gonna start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, because we are on the, you know, uh, we're on the road to 700 subs and on 800, 900 and 1000. And also don't forget to check me out live on Twitch, it's Raven Cold Snatch, because we're only playing those decks live. What are we playing today? Let's go easy. We're doing more Shine Hunter. And don't forget to check our highlights. Uh, around the weekend there are going to be more highlights as well. So Solgel and Lunala, Cosmic Burn, 230 damage, which is literally just similar to what is Rashizar doing, right? The same cause of energy with the same uh, text below the attack, the same amount of damage that the attack does, but well, different name and definitely not having a welder for the engine, right? So, is it hard to get, you know, this turn to working? Kind of is, but we've got at least we got a light of protector that is 200 damage, but if we use Lily's full force. And nothing can happen to Solgaleo and Lunala, which is quite cool, and I do like that idea. So let's go, let's take a look at the deck, and then we're gonna play it. So first things first, as you can see, we have 16 Pokemons, with 2 Jirachis, 2 Giratinas, 4-4 four, four line of NK Malamar. Of course, here we can go 3-3, three, three, it's okay. We've got 1 Jirachi GX to get rid of the resistance, a lot of weakness, sorry. And we've got 3 Solgaleo and Lunala, because I wanted to really focus on that. Then we have 3 Acrobikes, 1 Energy Switch, 3 Great Catchers, 4 Mysterious Treasures, 4 Pokegears 3.0, 4 Pokemon Communication, so consistency over here. Three switches, two Chaotic Swells, a brand new card. Uh, the Counter Stadium, you might say. If you have this stadium in play and someone plays another stadium, they're both getting discarded. On top of that, we've got a Power Plant, because I've got a gold, so I'm gonna show it. Uh, we've got one Brilliant Forest as well. Three Cynthia's, and here I must say I only pulled one Lily's Full Force. I would like to play three here. I only have one. That's why I am playing one, right? Before you're gonna like, you know, complain and come and like, oh, Raven, like, why you're not doing that? No, I only pulled one, right? Um, if I'm gonna pull more, we're gonna revisit this deck one, you know, one more time somewhere in like a month or two, okay? All right, so, you know, just be okay here. Uh, and one Rosa. Again, I only pulled one, but I think one, two Rosas are quite cool. I think this card might be one of my favorite cards from the set, definitely. Really good card and works with baby decks, especially with 2 escape boards and 12 psychic type energy. So that is the whole deck. The whole idea of the deck is that you can choose in between going normal Malamar with Giratina or taking more risks with Solgalo and Lunala. So you have two, play, uh, two ways uh, to play that deck. It's Lily Go Change the World, that's the title of the deck. And we, let's go and let's play that, right? Let's play those two, three games with that deck. So you will see how the deck performs. And maybe you're gonna get those packs uh, over here, because why not? Today, probably. So do you wanna go first or you wanna go second? You kinda want to go first due to the fact that you're kinda gonna rely on Malamars here, right? But first things first, coffee. Oh, it's good. Okay, I, I, it's good. It's not the best, but it's good. We're looking for opponents. Still 53 tickets to go, so I have to kind of start playing again. Uh, events, because yesterday the events were super bad. But let's go. Let's play our first game against a psychic type deck. So right now I know in my brain, in my head, that I'm going to have to go and... Uh, play that Jirachi just to get rid of the weakness, right? So you would like to go first? Yes, please. Thank you. So we're playing Michi O2. Hey Michi, how's it going? Uh, cause not good here. So why am I playing Great Catchers? Where uh, there, uh, there's a lot of decks that use GXs and Great Catcher just snipes them. Plus it discards cards, right? And I want to have energy in a discard pile. Plus on top of that, it's really and I mean really good to get rid of that the DNA of your opponents, right? Because it only has 160 HP, easy to knock out, an easy, easy target, you might say. So turn one, what can we do? Well, that's an Necrozma deck. 
Okay. Um, Power Plant is not going to do a lot right now, but I just want to play just in case he's going to do something weird. I know I have two escape boards, so I'm going to just use one over here. And Cynthia, so yeah, thanks uh, you know, for thinking I have a good deck. I appreciate it, mate. I appreciate it. So what I'm going to do is... Actually, I'm gonna go and well get rid of Malamar for, for now. Like it's for now. Don't worry. I get myself a Jirachi. Right. So we're gonna have a Jirachi. There we go. Uh, that's a free treat. Solgali Lunala. Energy already on Solgali Lunala. Stellar Wish. Let's see what can we have and. Honestly, I'd rather have this mysterious treasure, to be honest, to get Malamar next turn. Because um, there's nothing you know, nothing that Jirachi is going to do for me. Plus, we got a Rosa, so if it's going to get knocked out at a certain point in game, I have options, right? I have ways to <coughs> get what I need. The same kind of way we've done it in Eevee, right? In Eevee box, so we're going to go energy, you know, mysterious treasure, and let's say... So Galunala or Malamar or Giratina, and we're gonna discard some stuff. Okay, so he's giving me Inke over here, which is no cool. I know if Power Plant is gonna destroy his plants uh, or not. That's I something I do not know. But what I do know is I kind of have to find another stadium later in the game, and of course, oh there we go. So that's one problem. Why and? I kind of know that I have to find a Jirachi GX. Why? Because, well, Necrozma can actually one-shot and one-shot knockout my Slogel and Lunala, so we have to go and find that, find that Jirachi. So first things first, Mysterious Treasure, let's discard the energy and let's get ourselves a beautiful Malamar. I know I can dis excuse me, I know I can discard uh, great catcher because he's not gonna play any GX like it's a fair assumption that he's not gonna have any But first things first of course we're gonna use the stellar wish what we have from stellar wish and Acrobike yeah, I'm gonna take Acrobike Because consistency right you know look at that we're gonna have turn two Maybe if we had like the second you know the uh, sec oh Poke Gear yes, please if we would have like a second Malamar that would be a little bit better, but I'm not gonna complain, right? I will not complain here. And we got Solgali Lunala here. There we go, Pokegear 3.0. For Cynthia, that's good. Cynthia is actually quite good. Cause, well, I have to find that Jirachi GX this time. And we're not playing, you know... Oh, there we go. Like, I know I'm playing more of... Well, let's be honest, we're playing more of a... <sighs> Wait, should I... <clears throat> like you see, I'm thinking if I should uh, GX it or not. Because that'll be from hand. Let's look. He has one here. So that doesn't mean he's going to have Malamar from hand. Yeah, that would be a knockout next turn. So I can't really do that. So I did not play the charge balls here. Just because I kind of wanted to go with Pokemon Communications. And we also have Mysterious Treasures to find stuff. Because everything is psychic. So, you know, that was kind of my idea here. If you want, you can always play Charge Balls. So let's see if he had from... Yeah, okay. Uh, so the fact that I... I really didn't want to, you know, use the GX. Like, it was... Maybe that was a wrong decision. Maybe I should have used that. But now, it's too late to think about it. We're gonna have Solgalunal attacking. Alright. So first things first. Mysterious treasure on an energy. And I'm gonna grab it myself, Giratina. Discard Giratina, of course. We're gonna discard Giratina. Because we want to maximize that, right? Like, we don't want to do anything silly. We don't want to do anything stupid. And, well, I know I kind of did something stupid. And I forgot about... I did forget about Jiracha GX. That, that, that's the stupid thing. But let's see, nothing, alright. Malamar, Psychic Recharge. But we've got a lot of energy here, so I'm kind of happy for, for what we got. 
Um, another pocket gear, because there's still, you know, support card that we haven't played yet. So let's go, pocket gear 3.0, Cynthia. So I know I'm building my uh, bench right now. Like, I have time, you know, I can slowly do that. I've got a switch, alright. And I mean, I... Like, he knows I'm gonna have that Jirachi, but I... Well, I do want him to knock me out here. So yeah, done. It's fine. I'm, I have the energy that I need in my head. I've got two Malamars already established. We've got two Solgali Lanas. We've got Lily's full force out of all the things. And, well, I'm going to prevent any damage done to, you know, my Solgali Lanala if I want to use a GX attack, which is quite cool. So we can do this. Oh, that was my head. And of course, you know, Giratina is going to be an attacker. Like, there's just no doubt about it. As long as he doesn't have another... Uh... Oh yes, please, just knock me out here. Yes. Alright, so I'm... Honestly, I can just change the whole idea right now. So, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna play Jirache. Yeah, I can play the energy over here. Lily's full force. Let's draw some cards, and of course, I'm, I can discard the energy, get the energy. Charge my fantastic Pokemon over here, there we go. And I'm gonna use the GX attack, right, so next turn he can't do anything to me. Of course I have to, you know, leave the cards I wanna keep, and I wanna keep Switch and Energy, of course. And he can't do anything to me during next turn, so we are kind of okay here, right? Mm, yeah, two cards to keep, there we go. I'm gonna keep those two. The rest can go to the deck, it's fine. I have everything I need, right, at this point, so there is just... I know he's gonna keep on charging that Necrozma deck, I know, but... I'm not even gonna attack anymore with Solgaleo and Lunala. I mean, I can, because at the uh, the same time, you know, there's no weakness right now involved, thanks to Jirachi GX. So, with his full-on attack, if he would have it, uh, which is 160 with the special energy, he would... Ooh. Choose one of your opponent's active Pokémon non-GX attacks and use it... Okay. Non-GX attacks. But Pokemon, uh, active Pokemon, non GX attack. So we can do 230. So of course I'm gonna get rid of that. I mean, I'm not that silly to just leave, you know, Dratina active. <laughs> uh, Dratina on the bench. If you can actually use 230 damage on Solgalo and Lunala, like, come on, let's be real here. And, you know, Shadow Impact. There we go. Because I know he can knock out Giratina with his Marshadow, but at the same time, you know, he's gonna knock me out here. I'm gonna just knock him out back with Solgaldo and Lunala, which leaves him away with the Necrozma. Mwahaha. And, you know, and I'm fine with that. I I'm, I'm honestly am fine with that, because... What can he do? 160 damage? That's not a lot. That's not enough. Alright, so we got rid of both stadiums, so he can't have Rhino Forest. Again, there's no weakness involved, so I can just go straight on with Solgaleo Nala, but I can also bring back Dratina. Yeah, like he's doing the sad faces, but I'm. I mean, come, I'm sorry, dude, but that's how it works. I'm sorry. Alright, so two Malamars. Again, like, you want to get yourself to this position of two Malamars. And I think, you know, I kind of overdone it. You know, I should have not benched that second Solgaleo Dunala. 
at least in this matchup, right? Like this matchup could have bitten me um, quite, quite, quite badly. All right, and again, I can just retreat, bring back those two energies that I'm gonna discard because of retreating and attack with Giratina if I want to, because I did put you know this ten damage here, but it deals 130. It's okay. I don't think he, there's anything he can do at this point. He has to give. Okay, um, I thought he's gonna you know give me Malamar and he's gonna charge. Necrozma, but that's not exactly what he did. Uh, maybe he has an energy switch in his deck. So barrier attack. Mm, I'm gonna look at the energy. <laughs> so barrier attack. Like, I know I can't attack at all. So I'm just going to retreat. I mean, if I can't attack, I'm just going to charge a second Solgaluna. I know I'm not going to have a knockout. I know, I know, I know. But at least I'm charging the new one. You know, I'm gonna, I can play Acrobike if I want to. 18 cards left in the deck. He has 28. Uh, well, definitely a difference, right? Switch. Ah, oh, I could have. Oh man, I. You see, I could have thought about a switch. That I might have it. So yeah, I'm gonna put it here. It's gonna knock me out no matter what I'm gonna do. So, there you go. Cause switch would actually, you know, uh, clean the attack, and I would be able to attack again. Oh man. Because again, bench gets rid of all the effects, right? And that, oh, you can't use it during your next turn. But if you bench it and put it again as an active, you actually can. Oh, come on. Energy first. There we go. Distortion door. Yeah, let's go like that. Why not? Some Malamars. I mean, you know, we are so far ahead, I'm really confident in this game. And I know there was there were many games, there were many examples in the past of me getting too cocky and getting destroyed. I know. I know. <laughs> but it's I think here it's safe to say there's nothing. And I honestly think there's nothing my opponent can do. And that's thanks to, you know, this GX attack that I've done in the right time, you know, just getting the hand, you know, again, benching Jirachi, that was also crucial for me, and for the whole game. So he's gonna attack with Necrozma. So I'm gonna do switch, retreat, attack him again with Cosmic Burn. Or I'm not even, I can just retreat and attack with Jiratina. Which I think would be a lot safer play. Uh, let's look here. Oh, okay, so he brought back all of his friends with Brax Grid. Sure. Because, you know, I, I'm like all cocky and stuff, but I know he's like, he has three prize cards, so I have to be kind of careful. So that's a special laser. Sure. I know that's 160. Okay. So he knows I'm gonna attack with Giratina. There's just nothing else like I'm gonna do. Switch. And a shadow impact. So the question is, does he have two custom catchers or a great catcher right now? If he has it, well, he can actually mess me up if he has it. If not, uh, I've won because of Solgalina over here on my bench. So actually, no, just having two was not that bad of an idea, to be honest. Which I'm happy. I'm, I'm honestly happy. I am happy that that was a not that bad of an idea, uh, what I've done. Uh, so, he doesn't have it. So that's Shadow Impact. 
and GJ with Solgali and Lunala Cosmic Burn. So, yeah, oh yeah, that's BMing, sorry, uh, I should not BM, Cosmic Burn. So that's a GJ. Again, you know, that was us against a baby Necrozma deck, so the deck that we should have a lot of trouble playing against, because honestly, you know, many many times there's a lot of trouble against baby type decks but this deck does it quite well due to the fact that you can play it in two separate ways you can go full on on tag team or you can just play it as a baby deck which is really cool it definitely gives this extra extra advantage uh, in the matchups right especially going to larger tournaments when you see all those different decks and you have to adapt to those to those techniques to those decks to those uh, play styles so this is my Solgala and Lunala Giratina deck and I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like that don't forget to check out uh, me live on Twitch and also down there below you have in the description the whole deck plus also there's a 5% discount any code would purchase on Professor Oak so thank you guys so much for watching goodbye and good night Raven loves ya take care bye